Content creators have battled against piracy for years, but it's tough for U.S. companies to take action against overseas websites. SOPA is an acronym for the Stop Online Piracy Act. It's a proposed House bill that aims to crack down on copyright infringement by restricting sites that host pirated content. SOPA's main targets are rogue overseas websites like the Pirate Bay, which are a trove for illegal downloads of music, movies, and other content. Most of these websites make money off of ads, so SOPA goes after that revenue stream. Under SOPA, if the Pirate Bay were found to be hosting pirated content, a judge could order U.S.-based ad networks and payment processors that serve the Pirate Bay to cut off the website completely. In general, SOPA's supporters are media companies like CNN parent Time Warner and groups like the Motion Picture Association of America. SOPA's opponents are big tech companies like Google, Facebook, and AOL. Both sides tend to agree that protecting copyrighted content is a worthy goal. But SOPA's opponents say that the way SOPA is written effectively promotes censorship and is rife with unintended consequences, and that it blames websites for its individual users' actions. On January 13th, the bill's sponsors removed one of the most controversial parts of SOPA. As originally written, SOPA would have required internet service providers to block access to websites that law enforcement officials deemed promoting piracy. So, if U.S. users tried to visit the Pirate Bay, their browser wouldn't take them there. One day after that part of the bill was removed, the White House released a statement saying it would not support any legislation that tampers with the Internet's fundamental architecture. If you visit foreign websites that host copyrighted content, like the Pirate Bay, you could see them slowly start to disappear as their revenue streams are cut off. Theoretically, search engines like Google wouldn't show flagged sites in their search results, and payment processors like PayPal couldn't transmit funds to them. If SOPA doesn't pass, the current law would stay in place. For example, let's say a user uploads a copyrighted song to a website. The copyright holder could then contact the website and ask them to take it down in a reasonable amount of time. Tech companies have been working hard to make sure that their users are aware of SOPA, and they're asking them to voice opposition by calling their representatives. Sites including Wikipedia and Reddit also organize site blackouts. 